Hi, my name is Randall Moody. Um, this is a quick, hopefully quick, tutorial on centering clay and opening up for your first pulls. The way I do it is I usually throw on a bat, but you don't have to. Some people throw on the wheel head. I usually, you know, depending on how I feel. I try to make sure that I'm sort of pre-centering the clay. Here, it's, I'm also making sure that the, wheel, the clay is stuck to the bat or the wheel head very well. When you're centering, a couple of things you want to remember. You want the wheel, you want the center of the force coming around and into your hand, into, into this part of your hand. My elbow, you pro, I don't know if you can see it, is on my thigh, braced on my thigh. And uh, the reason for that is the center of the, or the force pushes here and it has to push against my entire body. Whereas if I'm pushing with, with this part of my hand, it's very easy for the clay to move my fingers. So. Water. Don't be afraid of the water at this point in time. Um, one hand on top. That's to keep it from coning up. And I'm slowly pushing it down to a manageable height for me. This is about four and a half pounds of clay. So there's more. I'm trying to uh, resist the clay rather than push the clay. Um, what else can I say? Center to a medium to high speed. If you're centering going very, very slowly, what happens is if the clay is off like that, if you're creeping along, you're going to naturally want to chase that offset. Let the clay run into your hand until it's centered. When you release the clay, release the clay slowly. So now that I have the clay centered, I'm moving on to the next step. Do not move on to the next step until you have the clay centered. My hands I'm using touching each other. They also add it as a brace, one for the other. As when they're touching, they let each other know where they are. Pushing down, I don't want my fingers going straight in, I want them more angled. This clay is a little on the stiff side for me, so you can also brace your back hand. Now, when I'm pulling, when I get to the depth that I want, I'm pulling back to probably about five o'clock. And I'm pulling like a record stylus. If I, I want it to go straight across, I don't want it to go down because then, it, then that sets up a high point in the center and a low point on the edge. And I don't want to go up because then I'm creating more of a bowl shape. So pull straight back. Most of the time, my uh, cylinders are about three fingers width in the base. Once you do that, you want to go back in and compress that clay. The reason why you want to compress the clay is because as you're pulling out, the clay particles are pulling this way. So if you go back and compress, it pushes them all back down. It fights what's known as S-cracks. Um, some people don't have a problem with those. If you do, this is a, this is a um, remedy for that. So, now that I have the bottom, the thickness that I want, it's opened up, I can go in and, and start my first pull. Centering, if your wheel is going counterclockwise, your centering is on the left side, whereas you're pulling, and th what's known as the throwing part of it, is on your right side. Some people use a sponge, I'll show you that. Just dampen sponge and push in 
see this? I'm pushing slightly at the bottom, at the wheel head. I start my pulls at the wheel head. I'm not trying to move a whole lot of clay at this point in time. I'm trying to get a little bit of height. What happened the last time I was shooting this video is I got a little too aggressive and pulled so hard that the bat came actually off the wheel head. That's not a good thing. All the way down at the wheel head again. My fingers are opposite each other. They're parallel from each other. The same distance apart throughout the entire pull. I ease up a little bit of the pressure at the top to keep this lip kind of fat and round. That helps keep the pot a little more round. Now if you notice I've gotten um, a little wide so I can just rub my hands with the clay and I can just choke it in back in like that. Always bracing my elbows down. Um, my elbows aren't up off my legs. I'm using my elbows as the fulcrum point. Four pounds of clay um, should be getting me about, I would say, 12 inches tall on a cylinder of this diameter. If you're a beginner, don't worry about that. The main thing you want to practice is an even wall thickness. do one more pull, then I'll have my cylinder at the height that I want. And from there, I can start shaping. Hope that helps.